$457 in less than 24 hours on a $10 ad. Let's talk about how we did it. So guys, as I said, uh, you know, $457 off of a $10 ad and um, I ran it over the night. So let's see, just, just so I can show you so you guys can see. Uh, yesterday we had five orders, total of $200. Um, I started the ad, let's see, as you can see, yeah, just after 4 p.m. That's when we started getting orders. Um, and then now you can see it's 1019 in the morning uh, the next day. And we're already up to $230 in sales today. So it was sort of like a you know an overnight ad, uh, not even quite 24 hours, and we're already at $457 off of a brand new store. How exactly did I go about doing that? That's what we're going over now. The first thing that you have to have to know and you have to realize in order to make uh, your dropshipping business actually work, and so many people get confused and, and you know think that or, or don't realize this, but dropshipping. Let me, let me write this down, okay? Drop shipping is not about reinventing the wheel, okay? So many people want to go out there and find like the next greatest product, the, you know, the newest thing, whatever it is, and you know, that's fine. You can make money doing that, but drop shipping is not about reinventing the wheel. It's about hopping on mini trends, or in some cases like a fidget spinner, large trends, Hopping on at the beginning or as soon as possible and riding the wave up until uh, you know you see the trend start to die off and then you jump off the train before it you know completely dies off. That's literally all the drop shipping is. So you, if if I were you, what I would do is let other people test, let other people find what's working, and then you guys just hop on what's already working because you know it works and you don't have to waste money testing. Okay. So how do you actually about go about you know finding what's actually working? Well, the first thing. Um, let's just use, for example, in today's example, let's just say you're in the surfing niche, right? Okay, so um, first, before you do anything, what I would do is validate that that surfing niche is actually a thing. So you would go on Instagram, you would make sure that there's pages that are large, that have like 3 to 5% engagement, that people you know are engaging with real comments, all that kind of stuff. And you would find at least, ideally, I'd like 7 to 10 large pages, I'm talking like 150K plus. Um, that you can reach out to and see what the rates are. If you got good rates, then awesome, you know, jump into the niche. Okay, so what I always like to do, and I'll write this down, is find the influencers before finding the products, okay? And if you um, if you followed me for any length of time, if you followed the channel, you know that I'm always about finding influencers, finding the market before you find the products, because the market's gonna tell you what they want, okay? So if you find the influences before you find the products, then you should be good. So we found 10, uh, you know, surfing pages that are that are solid that are going to give us a good rate. Now, um, good rate would be about like 10 to 15 dollars per hundred thousand. Occasionally, I'll go up to 20 if it's really really good, but um, yeah, in most cases, 10 to 15. Okay, so if it's a 200 thousand follower page, I'll pay like 20 to 25 dollars, maybe 30 if it's really good. Okay. So once we found the influencers, we got the prices. A lot of times what you'll do is if they're good influencer pages, um, look look for uh, featured posts, okay? A lot of times these big influencers will already have featured posts. Let me see if I can remember this here, okay? Um, pages. Okay, a lot of times they'll have influencer posts already on the pages. So what you'll see is like, you know, maybe they're promoting like some sort of surfing bracelet, some sort of uh, surfing shirt, some sort of surfing necklace, ring, whatever it is, right? And you see this being promoted maybe one, two, three times and you see good engagement, okay? So what do you do? You click on the photo of the feature post and number one, it should have a good amount of likes, um, you know, compared to the other photos as well. So if you see that a featured post gets significantly less likes, which it will, um, in general, it's a feature post will get significantly less likes than a normal post. However, if a normal post gets like 3,000, a feature post should get around like 1,500 to 1,700. Um, if it's higher than that, then awesome. But if you see them getting like 300 likes, then you know something might be off with either the influencer or the product, okay? So you gotta kind of figure that out for yourself. Um, but if you click on it, it's got good engagement and you see comments of people being like, yo, I wanna buy this. This looks awesome, uh, tagging friends, uh, the friends should buy it, stuff like that. That, to me, shows buyer intent. That means that people are probably going to the website to go purchase it, okay? So, um, 
if if you see that, um, which could take a, a little while to find, you're going to have to put some research in. I'm not going to lie and tell you that you can find it in 10 minutes. But if you put in the effort, you can easily find it within like two hours. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty easy to be able to view. So uh, look for the feature posts on influencer pages. Then you're going to, uh, you want to prove the product even further. Because for me, I want to be, you know, you can never be proven without a shadow of a doubt if it works, but you can prove almost indefinitely that you think it'll at least make one sale, right, if you promote on this on this page. So, um, so we're going to research the product on other social channels, okay? So what you can do is you can go on uh, Facebook and you can look it up or you could go on Etsy. So for example, I looked up uh, surfing ring, okay? If, you know, if we're in the surfing niche. And the cool thing about Etsy is it shows how many reviews. So if you see that, uh, you know, for example, this one, almost 6,000 reviews, to me that shows that that product sells, people want it, people are buying it, okay? So 6,000 reviews, 1,600 reviews, 4,000 reviews, okay? So then what you would do is you just jump on over to good old AliExpress, type in Wavering, because that's what we did, sort by orders, okay? So if we sort by orders, you'll see that here we go, 1,600 orders on this Wavering. So if we click on that, uh, you can see $2.11 for shipping. Uh, if we just go down here, um, $2.11, so all in your $3.70, okay? So now that we have that, we have to establish we, we have the market, we have the product. Now we just have to figure out what offer, okay? Because that's the third thing, let me jump back over here, is that you need to create an irresistible offer. Uh, that's not how you spell any of this stuff, okay? <laughs> create an irresistible offer, okay? So in my case, um, what I did yesterday was actually not a free plus shipping offer. You could do it on this wavering because Three dollars and seventy cents. You could easily, you know, free plus ship for ten, eleven, twelve dollars. Okay, but what I did was actually a fifty percent off offer. So I bought the product for seven dollars and like thirty cents, something like that. Um, but the actual, but what I sold it for was thirty, or I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, so thirty dollars. So my profit margin there is twenty three dollars. Okay, um, for every sale that I make, I make twenty three dollars. I also had upsells, which helps me out because I had a few orders. Not well. I had one order that was eighty-one dollars. I had another order that was like a hundred and eight. So that definitely adds to it. Okay, but the only reason I was able to do that is because I was able to upsell and find similar products. Um, which I guess I'll throw that in is find uh, two to three similar products to upsell. Okay. So, um, but back to our irresistible offer. You have a few things. You have the um, you can do free plus shipping. You could do fifty percent off, like what I did. Um, I have a friend that did 75% off. He literally bought the product for 50 cents, okay? Bought the product for 50 cents, sold it for 16, uh, marked it down from like $69, so it was 75% off, and he sold like a ton of them, um, you know, without, <laughs> the, the margins are insane because he paid 50 cents and selling it for 16. Um, so you can literally do that if you, you have a good enough deal and the, and the value is there and you find the product through, uh, you know, finding it through the market. So guys, um, hopefully this kind of drives home the point that dropshipping is not about reinventing the wheel. It's about finding what works. Um, it's about finding what works and just literally duplicating it and making it a little bit better um, on your own website yourself. So if this video was at all helpful for you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It helped me out a lot as well as that like button. Let's me know that you like the content. If you want me to continue making it on a daily basis, which we've been doing, y'all been loving it. We've been growing. Uh, pretty fast actually recently. So, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for your support uh, in that matter. If you guys want to do a coaching call, um, I'm no longer doing the free calls, but you can uh, do a pay call. Uh, you can check out the rates below. Uh, you know, sometimes they adjust or whatever, but you can check out the rates below if you want to jump on a call, half hour, 60 minute, whatever it is. Um, and lastly, go ahead and hit uh, post notifications and leave a comment below of something that you want me to do in the future, videos that you want me to do. Um, because I'm always looking for ideas and I want to make stuff that's actually relevant to you guys. So uh, let me know what you want to see and I will talk to you guys later.